Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. This is gonna be a comparison video. A lot of people are asking me between the Supernova and then we got the Oracle, we got the Helios and we got the Variations. So I'm gonna be talking about the fit, bass, mids, treble, sound stage, imaging, tone and technical performance. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start off with the fit. So the Supernova has an exceptional fit. It just fits like a glove in my ears. I didn't have any issues with the fit. It is slightly on the larger side, but that's fine. So good fit. Oracle OG is about the same fit as the Supernova. So if you could fit the Oracle, you could easily fit the supernova and then the variations uh is pretty heavy so it's a little on the chunky side for me even though the supernova is bigger um it's lighter so it's a little bit more comfortable for me and then the Helios, a lot of people complain about the fit, but I didn't have any complaints with it. It's not the most secure fit, but I didn't really get any pain or discomfort from it. So I will say, fit-wise, I think these three have a good fit. I think the Supernova and Oracle still fit me the best. And then I would say... The Variations is in third place, and the Helios will probably be the most problematic fit for most people. So that's the fit side of things, and now let's talk about the bass, and then we'll go into the mids and the treble. So starting off, let's start, out with, start off with the Supernova. The Supernova has... The least bass out of all three of these other IEMs. So if you want a more balanced bass or not too emphasized, the Supernova is better. It doesn't have the subwoofer type of feeling when you're listening to a subwoofer. It sounds like you're just listening to a pair of monitors without a sub. And then the Oracle, it has a more mid bassy sound. I get more mid bass out of this. And the Oracle has the most amount of mid bass. So whenever I'm listening to drums or those kick drum type of songs, I hear the mid bass better off the Oracle. And the bass on the Oracle is the warmest sounding out of all these other sets. So... It does have like a warmer tilt to it, which adds some warmth to the male voices and sometimes female voices also. And then the bass on the variations sounds like a subwoofer. It's very tactile. Uh, it has that thump to it, that kick, which these two don't quite have. And this IM has the most bass out of the other I am. So if you're a bass head and you want a lot of bass, then the variations might be a good option. And then the Helios, I would say the Helios has the most accurate bass. I hear the details in the bass more. I hear it clearer and it's pretty bouncy for a BA because it has a good amount of boost. So bass wise, I'd say in terms of bass definition, I'd say the Helios is the best. And then if you want even more bass, but you will sacrifice a little bit of definition, then that's the variations. You do sacrifice some of that information in the bass where Helios doesn't have that issue. It sounds cleaner and clearer so that's the base. 
So, yeah, if you're a base head, I would say uh, maybe stay away from the Supernova and probably the Oracle. But if you like a more base presence, then Variations is really good. And if you want better base definition and it being clearer, then the Helios is better. So, yeah, that's the base. They all have decent base. The one with the worst base to my ears would be the Oracle. The Oracle doesn't have the best base definition. It sounds... doesn't have... When I'm listening to drums, they don't sound as clear. They could be a little too warm sometimes. And then sometimes it could add a little bit too much warmth for my preferences. So in terms of bass, I'd say strictly bass, like if you're a bass head, it would probably be Variations in Helios, and then the Supernova, and then the Oracle in terms of definition. So yeah, now on to the mid-range. Starting off from like the mid-bass to the lower mid-range, the Supernova sounds linear. Sounds amazing. It doesn't sound too warm. It has the right amount of clarity. And then the mid bass on the Oracle is a little too warm for me. And then the mid bass on the variation is too recessed. So when I'm listening to male voices, it doesn't pop out that good. It sounds thin. And then the Helio somehow has the same amount of mid bass as the variations, but I still don't hear that much thinness somehow. I hear more clarity, it's more clear, a little more fuller. And I think the variations in the Oracle OG, they don't have good volume scaling. I really can't get a good volume out of these two somehow. I have to keep turning it up or down. I have to keep doing a bunch of weird things. Where with the Supernova and Helios, I can listen to every song on the same volume level, around 80 decibels. And it just sounds perfect on every song. So these two are superior in terms of volume scaling. I don't have to mess with the volume too much. And yeah, it's really, really good. These two in terms of how it handles volume and probably has to do with the crossover maybe or some sort of engineering. But these two are better engineered in terms of how the volume scales. And then the upper mid-range. The Supernova to me has like the perfect amount of upper mid-range. It's never shouty, never thin, never recessed. It's clear, good presence, I never have to turn the volume up. And then the Oracle OG, it has that little bit of 5.5k boost. So the vocals are a little more nuanced and emphasized, but it's not that neutral. The Oracle OG is a little bit colored in the upper mid range, where the Supernova is more flat, more neutral. So yeah, and then the variations, the upper mid range, I'm not sure what's causing it, but it still sounded thin to me, even with that 3K being so forward. So sometimes it sounds thin and recessed, and other times it sounds screechy and shouty. So I don't think this has a neutral upper mid range. It has too much gain, and it's it's a little too contrasty. Because you get that big bass, that very forward upper mid range, and then the treble is too smooth. So it has a little bit of those issues going on with it. And then the Helios has pretty laid back upper mid range. It's a little recessed. So you don't get. It just sounds clean and clear. It's not too forward or too laid back. So in terms of the mid-range being recessed, I think these two have the most recessed upper mid-range. Uh, the mids in general, not even the upper mid-range, these two are more recessed. Uh, the variations 
sounds too recessed for me. The Helios is fine somehow. Even though this grass with more of an upper mid range than the Helios, uh, the Helios to me never sounded as thin. So I think that could be a volume scaling issue or something. I talked to a few people about this. They said they did agree. So I'm still trying to figure that out. So yeah, those are the mids. In terms of like tonal balance and clarity, I think the Supernova does the mid range the best out of the rest of these other IMs because that 5.5k boost on the Oracle, it makes the vocals a little more pronounced and etched out, which is tonally pleasing, but it's not as accurate as the Supernova. And then the variation has too much of an upper mid range. And then the Helios, I wish it had a few decibels more in the upper mid range. So overall, the mid-range on the Supernova is the best for me. It's just spot on. It's not warm in the mid-base, not too much. And then the upper mid-range is just the right amount. So when you're listening to vocals and instrumentals, the Helios does a really good job with the instruments. And then the Supernova is right up there. Uh, we'll talk about instruments when we get to the treble. So now let's talk about the treble. So the best treble is the Helios, hands down. Nothing I've heard touches the Helios. Uh, when I'm listening to a mandolin, a guitar, a trumpet, I get this extra level of clarity and airiness that's quite missing on the Supernova, Oracle, and the Variations. And then when I'm listening to drums, those live recordings where there's smacking going on with the drums, that's where Helios just destroys most of the IMs I've heard. I hear it clear. I get more air in my ears. So trouble performance, Helios is the best. But how does these three fare? So for me, the Oracle and the variations, they have this wispy texture. It sounds like it's too diffuse. It lacks incisiveness when I'm listening to instruments. And the Supernova has a more of an edge to it. More clear, more extended. So if you are sensitive to treble and you want the smoothest sounding treble out of all of these, then the variations would probably be my pick if you want the smoothest treble. But for me, sometimes I do like a little bit of a crunch and a bite, a little more emphasis uh, while still being neutral at the same time. So those are the mids, I mean the treble. So yeah, Helios just has the best treble. I will say though, the Supernova comes kind of close but when I'm listening to it side by side, I already know the Helios is much better in the treble. Now talking about the sound stage. So the Supernova has a really open sound. I can, the, the way the details pop up are really good. I'm getting an open sound. The Oracle is a little more closed in. It lacks note definition and clarity. And then the variations has like a pretty open sound stage, but it does sound really flat. And it's pretty obvious the variations does have a flat sound stage. It's not too wide. And then the Helios has like an oval egg shape sound stage where you get more height, but it lacks left right depth. So overall, sound stage wise, I'm gonna have to go with the Supernova. It's just very well separated. And then the Helios is not too far off, but I just wish it had more, wish it had more right, left depth. So everything was a little bit more spread out on the Helios, just a small nitpick. So yeah, that's the sound stage. So if I had to rate the sound stage, it would be one, two, three, and then four. So uh, that's the sound stage. Now let's talk about the imaging. 
So out of all four of these, I'd say the Supernova has the most pinpoint imaging. When I'm listening to orchestras, when I'm listening to live recordings, I could pinpoint where the sound is in the mix very clearly. And it's really, really coherent. The seventh acoustics, I picked up on that pretty quickly. So the crossover they're using and the way they mesh their drivers in together, it's something special on the seventh acoustics. And then the Oracle, the imaging is just okay. It's not that clear. The images aren't fully fleshed out. When I'm listening to live recording, it sounds a little more crammed in together. And then the variations, the imaging is decent. But because of that lack of treble error or being too smooth, those small nuances don't pop up as well as something like the Supernova. And then the imaging on the Helios, I think the imaging on the Helios could use a little bit of work because it, sound, it has too much height and it's missing a little bit of that left-right effect where everything should be a little bit more spread out like the Supernova. So for me, the Supernova just had the best imaging. I could just envision what's happening better on the Supernova when comparing it to the Helios. So that's the imaging side of things. Now let's talk about tonality. So starting off with the Supernova, this just has the best tonality for me. Because the upper mid range is not too forward and it's not thin, it's not recessed. Vocals just pop up perfectly. I'm getting good clarity and extension from this I am without it sounding too smooth or bright or sharp. So for me, the tonal is really special in here. And then the tonality of the Oracle, it's really good. It has good timbre. It doesn't sound that bad. But what limits these two IEMs in terms of the tonality is the treble. I think that EST is causing some sort of like wispiness. So whenever I'm listening to flutes or really airy instruments, they just have this like texture. Like it's feather light. Almost like it doesn't sound lifelike to me. Like someone's playing a flute right in front of me. Instead, it sounds a little too smooth. Same thing with violins or a mandolin. It's just a little too smooth for me. And then the Helios just has an exceptional tonality. Um, really, really good. The only thing holding the Helios back is it needs a little bit more of an upper mid range. Because I could hear it and it's slightly recessed. So if they added a few more decibels in the upper mid range, it would literally be as good as the Supernova in terms of pure tonality. But every time I'm listening to instruments, the Helios just smokes all three of these IEMs. Because I get extreme amounts of air from the Helios. Like any instrument, like flute, guitar, piano, cello, anything I throw at it, it has this extra bit of air. And when I listen to those drum smacks that I've been talking about, it's almost like the air is going through my ears, like more, more air than these other three. So yeah, the treble on the Helios is very special. So purely in terms of treble smoothness and extension, the Helios is the best one. Hands down, it's not even close. Uh, all the instruments that I played through here sound close to real life. Very lively, amazing tone and timbre on all instruments. But where the Helios does slightly suffer is in that upper mid range. It could be, they need to boost it by a few decibels. But other than that, it's fine. Now let's talk about the technical performance. Uh, starting off with the Helios. Helios has really, really good technical performance. I rated it an A+. And then the variations is an A grade. 
And then the Oracle OG is an A minus. It clearly lacks note definition, clarity, and being clean. And then the Supernova also, I rated it an A plus. So comparing the Supernova to the Helios, they're really close in terms of the details I could pick up. However, for me, I hear the treble details better on the Helios. It's just clear, more pronounced. So because of that, the Helios has slightly better note definition and clarity. So, but the Supernova is really close. Uh, it's right up there. And then, yeah. So for me and my preferences, I'll take, I actually like the Helios a lot and I like the Supernova a lot. I might get rid of the Oracle now. It's slightly outdated in today's market uh, because of the Supernova variations and the Helio. But the Helios does cost um, like four or 500 bucks more than the Supernova. But if you want the best treble, then just get the Helios and you're done. So yeah, overall, like, tonality and being balanced, the Supernova is probably the most balanced to me. It doesn't have too much contrast in the bass and the upper mid-range where it sounds more flat. And then the Helios, again, just lacking a few decibels in the upper mid-range. And the bass is fine. So here you have it guys, hopefully that was helpful and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe. Take care.